kindergartners, it's Mrs. Morris here for the last day of the week's um, number corner. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. Remember, we are not doing number corner or schoolwork on Fridays. All right, so let's do our days of the week song. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job, friends. All right, so today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday? You guys are correct. Yesterday was Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. If today is Thursday, April 23rd, what's tomorrow going to be? You're right. It's Friday, April 24th, 2020. Good job, friends. All right, let's turn over our card and see what it is. Ah, that looks like something that we have in our kitchens. Look at that picture right in the middle. Yeah, it's a measuring cup, a really big one. Measuring cup. We use that to measure liquids. Now, are we measuring the length of the liquid? The temperature of the liquid? The weight of the liquid? Or the capacity of the liquid? Yep, you're right. It's capacity. It's how much we can fill it up. Nice job. Usually those are in cups. That's why we kind of call it a measuring cup. All right, there we go. Let's head over to our frogs and toads and get our spinner ready. Get your finger right here on the middle and help me on three. One, two, three. Frogs, yeah, that was frogs. Okay, let's add a frog to our pocket chart. And then we're gonna head over here and add a frog to our graph. Now I'm gonna ask you, how many frogs do we have on our graph? Four, nice job. Now if I have four on the graph, how many more do I need to get to five? One more. How many toads do I have on the graph? Correct, one toad. All right, let's finish our number sentence. Four frogs plus one toad equals how many frogs and toads? Five, excellent job, five. All right, I wanna hear you read that number sentence. Remember at the end, Make sure you do frogs and toads. Excellent job, nice. Okay, so since it is the last day of the week and actually the fifth um, number sentence that we've created, we are going to create our um, equation and write it on here and color in our boxes. All right, so if we go back we see that we had four plus one equals five. So Miss Morris is going to write that on here to help us remember. <clears throat> four plus one equals five. All right, so now we have to color it in, don't we? So let's change our colors here. Let's do green for our frogs. So we had four frogs. So Mrs. Morris is gonna color in four. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Nice job. Miss Morris is not doing too good on coloring those in. I wonder if I can make it thicker. Let's see. Nope. 
Not really. All right, so now we're gonna change colors. Let's do yellow for the toad since we don't have kind of a brown on there. All right, how many toads did we have today? Do you remember? We had one toad, nice job. So we're gonna color in one square for toads. So we had four colored in for frogs and one colored in for toads. So four plus one equals five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, excellent job, guys. You guys are pretty smart. And you're probably a better colorer than me, too, huh? <laughs> I wanted to give two shout-outs today. I heard from Miss Petrick that my friend Eli from Miss Pratt's class did an excellent job on his direct drawing this week and even emailed it to her. So good job, Eli. I miss you, especially during intervention time. Also, another shout-out to Alexis in my class. Alexis has been rocking it on Khan Academy Math. She has logged a lot of minutes on Khan Academy this week. So good job, Alexis. And everybody out there that's working hard like Alexis and Eli, make sure you keep that up and keep that brain nice and juicy. Have a great weekend, and Miss Morris will see you on Monday. Bye.